Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss questions based on zeros of a polynomial. Students, let's solve example questions based on the concepts which we have discussed so that the concepts will be pretty clear. The first question is if p of x is equals to x square minus 4x plus 3, then evaluate p of 2 minus p of minus 2 plus p of 1 by 2. That means we have to find out the value of a polynomial for, by substituting different values of x that is 2 minus 2 and 1 by 2. So let's calculate that. So first is p of x is given x square minus 4x plus 3 right. So first we'll calculate p of 2. So this is equals to 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3. So this is equals to 4 minus 8 plus 3 or we can write it as 7 minus 8 that is equals to minus 1. Let's name this as 1 right. Now let us calculate p of minus 2. So this will be equals to minus 2 square minus 4 into minus 2 plus 3. So this is equals to minus 2 square is 4 right minus of 4 into minus 2 minus of minus it will become plus so 4 into 2 it's 8 plus 3 so this is equals to 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 3 15 let's name this as 2 now let us calculate p of 1 by 2 so this will be equals to 1 by 2 square minus 4 into 1 by 2 plus 3 this will be equals to 1 by 4 minus 4 into 1 by 2 plus 3. Here if you observe we can cancel out 2 and 4 right. So this will be equals to 1 by 4 minus 2 plus 3 or we can write it as 1 by 4 plus 1 that is equals to 5 by 4 right. Now let's name this as 3. Now according to the question we have to 1 minus 2 plus 3 that is so 1 minus 2 plus 3 right students so what is the one value we have considered it's minus 1 which we have calculated minus 2 is nothing but 15 plus 3 is 5 by 4 so this will be equals to minus 16 plus 5 by 4 in order to simplify this let's take LCM so which will be 4 minus 16 into 4 it's minus 64 plus 5 or we can write it as minus 59 by 4 right students students let's look into the second question verify minus 3 is a zero of a polynomial that means we have to check when we substitute minus 3 in the given polynomial is the polynomial value is becoming zero or not so let's check that. So let's consider given polynomial as p of y that is equals to y square plus y minus 6. So let's substitute p of minus 3 that is minus 3 square plus minus 3 minus 6. So this will be equals to minus 3 square is nothing but 3 square which is 9 minus this is 3 minus 6. So this will be equals to 9 minus 9 that is equals to 0. Therefore p of minus 3 is equals to 0. That means minus 3 is a 0 of p of y. Right students? Let's solve the third question. If x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 0 are roots of a polynomial f of x is equals to 2x cube minus 5x square plus ax plus b find the values of a and b. So it's given that x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 0 are roots of the polynomial. That means when we substitute x is equals to 2 in the given polynomial its value is becoming 0. Similarly when we substitute x is equals to 0 its value is becoming 0. So let us consider first f of 2. So f of 2 that will be equals to 2 into in place of x we will write 2. So 2 cube minus 5 into 2 square plus a into 2 plus b. So according to the given question it says root of the given polynomial. That means we can equate f of 2 to 0 right. So it will be 
2 into 2 cube is 8, 8 into 2 it's 16, minus 2 square is 4, 4 into 5 it's 20, plus 2a plus b is equals to 0. Or we can write it as 2a plus b is equals to 4. Right students? Let's name this as 1. Now substitute x is equals to 0 in the given polynomial that is f of 0. That will be equals to 2 into 0 minus 5 into 0 plus a into 0 plus b. Right? So f of 0 is equals to 0. Right students? So then it will be this equation we should equate it to 0. If you observe here this is 0, this is 0 and this is also 0. That means b value is becoming 0. Right? So therefore b is equals to 0. Now this let's name this as 2. Substitute 2 in 1. Okay? Let's substitute 2 in 1. That is 2a plus b is equals to 4. This is equation 1. In this let us substitute b value as 0. That is 2a plus here it is plus 0 that will be equals to 4. So 2a is equals to 4 or I can say that a is equals to 4 by 2 that is equals to 2. Therefore a is equals to 2 and b is equals to 0. Right students? In next session, we will discuss integral root theorem and rational root theorem to find out zeros of a polynomial. Thank you for listening and have a great day.